I'm Cody from the workshops of David T. Smith. Uh, I get a lot of calls um, from people who get little chips on their uh, pottery pieces. And so I always give them this kind of a little rigmarole over the phone. But I wanted to show uh, show you guys, if you're interested, if you have any pieces at home that you've chipped, have a little bit of wear and tear, I'll show you what we would do with it. And I'll also give you some advice if you don't have all the supplies we have to do it a little bit differently. So if you look at this piece here, it's pretty nice, traditional. It's got this chip, uh, unfortunately. Now, we, what we used to do is we used to like to really chip this stuff on purpose. We'd age it and make it look real nice and old, but occasionally, because we're doing antiques, but occasionally you get people who'd call in and say, well, uh, this piece is chipped, <laughs> this piece is damaged. And we'd say, yes, that's on purpose. So we don't do it as much as we used to, generally speaking. Every so often we'll do, we'll do it on something. But on something like this, it's already kind of got a bit of a chip. You can age that in a little bit and it looks organic and natural and like it's supposed to be there. The one thing about it, though, when you show that bright orange color, you can tell that that doesn't really fit in, especially with this wax on the back that gives it a dark sheen. So what I always do is I take a piece of sandpaper, uh, something that's not too, uh, not going to be too rough. This is 150, sometimes it'll do 220. And you try to delicately, because you don't want to scuff up the, uh, the front too much, sand just to make sure that you get the, the sharp parts of the chip out. So once you've done that, you should be able to kind of run your finger over it and not, not hurt you at all. So that looks a little bit better. And then we take some steel wool and we use this stuff as wax here. But if you don't have that at home, because you probably don't, you can use something like a brown shoe polish, something like that. You take a little bit on that steel wool or a rag, if that's all you got. You rub it in, get it nice in there. I always take a little... A hand brush like this, buff it, that gives it that kind of sheen, and then I'll take another rag and get any of that excess wax off there. And by the time you're done, it looks almost like it's supposed to be there. It blends in really nicely. Now you hardly even notice it unless you look for it. But when you do see it, you'll be like, it'll feel like it's organic, like it's supposed to belong there. So anyway, that is my tip for uh, <laughs> Fixing up a piece that you might have at home that's gotten a chip to, uh, you know, make it look like it looks like it's supposed to look again. Thank you very much.